Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. To your younger brothers and sisters who would want to take up engineering in the future. And to your relatives. That's one way you can keep me going inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also, please don't forget to subscribe. Hello, future engineers. Here is another video in calculus, especially on graphing functions, combination of functions. And I hope that you will learn techniques here. If you want to anticipate the solution to the exercises here, there are two, then you may do so by pausing the video and answering the problems. So use the given graph of f to sketch the graph of y equals 1 divided by f of x. So meaning to say we have to sketch the graph of the reciprocal of the graph of the given function. So here is the given graph of the function f of x. So take note that there are three points here where f of x is 0. And when f of x is 0, the reciprocal 1 over f of x, 1 over 0 is undefined. So these points will become vertical asymptotes when sketching the graph of the reciprocal of f of x. So I'll just estimate that this is negative 1. This is 1, of course, as shown in the figure. And this is 3. So we have three vertical asymptotes and analyze the situations here. So here is the graph of the reciprocal of f of x. So these are the three vertical asymptotes, negative one. Uh, just estimate it based on the figure and positive three x is three. So its grid is one half by one half. So one is here, two, then three, then negative one, that's also one, two, and so on. Negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on. Now to the left of this vertical asymptote, the value of f of x is almost zero but negative. It it is below the it is below the x axis, so it's negative but almost zero. And of course, 1 divided by almost 0, which is negative, is negative infinity. So to the left of this vertical asymptote, the curve is negative infinity. And to the right, as x approaches negative infinity, 1 over negative infinity is almost 0, but still negative. So the graph looks like this in this portion. Then just to the right of this point, vertical asymptote here, the value of f of x is 0 but positive. 1 over 0 but positive is positive infinity. So the graph also comes from here. It goes down. Then when x is 0, particular here, f of x is 1 as shown in the figure. And 1 over 1 is 1. So it will also cross here. Let's proceed to this, to the vertical asymptote at 1. To the left of 1, the graph is almost 0. Why f of x is almost 0 but positive? So 1 over almost 0 is positive infinity. So for this portion, the graph should look like this, like that. So I hope that you understood the explanation. Then just to the right of 1 here, the value of f of x, the curve is below the x-axis, so the value of f of x is almost 0 but negative. So 1 over f of x, 1 over almost 0 but negative is negative infinity. So in this portion, the graph comes from here, negative infinity. Then when x is 2, uh, when x is 2, f of x is approximately negative 2, so it will cross negative 1, 
perhaps here, 1 over negative 2 is negative 1 half. Then when x is just to the left of this point here, which is approximated 3, just to the left, the value of f of x is again almost 0 but negative. So 1 all, all over almost 0, which negative is negative infinity. So in this portion, the graph should look like this. Then finally, just to the right of this vertical asymptote, f of x is almost 0, so 1 over almost 0, which is positive, is positive infinity. And as x approaches uh, infinity, y approaches infinity, f of x increases also without bound. And 1 over f of x, which is infinite, is almost 0. So the graph here in this portion should look like that. So I already explained the possible graph shapes. So it will look like that and in this portion like that. So that would be the portion, that would be the expected graph of the reciprocal of this curve, given curve, which is y equals f of x. For the second part, so that is y equals 1 over f of x. For the second part, use graphical addition to sketch the graph of f plus g. So here is the given uh, graphs of f and g. So take note that we only sketch portion of the graphs where the domains of f of g are common. So it is from here, 0, x is 0, to here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, to x is 6, if this, uh, if the grids is 1 by 1. Since this is, for f, it is 2, and for g, it is also 2. So adding f plus g would be here, 4. It should start here, which is 4. Then in this part, this is already g. We just add this uh, height of f here. So if we approximate this as 1.7 or 1.6, all you have to do is from this point on the graph of g, we add 1.7. So it is about here, as shown. I hope that you can follow. Then this is about 1.3. So we add 1.3 here. So it is about here. So f is 1.3. g is already here. So from this position, from this point, all you have to do is add the value of f, which is about 1.3. So 1.3 would be somewhere here. Then here we have uh, this is 1, so all you have to do is add 1 here, so it, it would fall somewhere there. Then here, this is already G, all you have to do is add this, which is about 0.7, so which is of almost the same length as this, same height as this, this is 0.7, so that's also almost 0.7, so it, it should fall there. Then here we have this is already g. All you have to do is add this height of f, which is about 0.3 or somewhere here. So it will it should fall there. And since both f and g are 0 here, so it should fall here. Because 0 plus 0 is still 0. So connecting these points with a smooth curve, the the resulting graph would be the graph of f plus g. So I hope that you understood the explanation for combining or sketching the graph of f plus g. For the second part, so that is f plus g, the red curve. For the second part, so common, the common domain would be from here up to here only, beyond, beyond this part, f does not exist and behind this part g does not exist so beginning with this so this is for f it is positive one this is the x-axis it is positive one and for g it is negative one therefore it should start with this negative one plus one is zero so here so while here 
uh, f is about 2.2 2.2 while g is about negative 1.3 so 2.2 plus negative 1.3 is about 0.9 so it should fall here then here f is 2 g is about negative 1.2 or negative 1.1 so 2 plus negative 1.1 2 plus negative 1 is about 0.9 so it should also fall somewhere here then here F is about 2.5, 2.5. G is about negative 0.6. So 2.5 plus negative 0.6 is 1.9. So it should fall somewhere there. Then here, F is about 1 to 2.8. G is positive 0.2. So 2.8 plus 0.2 is about 3. So it's F plus G should be there. Then lastly here, F is about 1 to 2.2 and G is about 0.7. So 2.2 plus 0.7 is 2.9. So it should fall somewhere there. So that's it. Then we connect these points with a smooth curve as shown. So that would be the graph of F plus G. So that's it for this video. I hope that you gain techniques in adding uh, graphs, in sketching graphs of two functions, adding them, and approximating the curve.